Hi, welcome back to Recitation. In lecture, you've been learning about critical points of functions, how to find them using the first derivatives, and how to classify them using the second derivative test. So I have a question here for you about that. So we have a function, w. It's a function of two variables, x and y, and it's given uh, by this, this polynomial function of them. So w equals x cubed minus 3xy plus y cubed. So what I'd like you to do is to first find the, the critical values of this function and then classify them. Are they minima or maxima or saddle points um, using the second derivative test? So why don't you pause the video, take some time to work that out, come back and we can work it out together. Hopefully you had some luck working out the, the uh, solution to this question. Let's, let's have a go at it. So in order to, to, the, to find the critical points, we need to look at the first derivative. So the critical points are the points where, where both partial derivatives or, or all partial derivatives, if we had a function of more variables, are equal to 0. So, so we need to look at the, at the first partials. So the first partials here, w sub x, the, the partial with respect to x, well, it's just a polynomial, so it's easy to compute those partial derivatives. It's going to be 3 x squared minus 3y, and then the, the last term gets killed because we treat y as a constant. And so we want that to be equal to 0. And similarly, we want the, the first partial with respect to y, w sub y, to be equal to 0. And so that's minus 3x plus 3y squared equals 0. Now, luckily, these are are fairly simple equations. So we, to solve them, we could, for example, take the first equation and we could solve the first equation for y in terms of x. So that'll give us y equals x squared. And now if we plug y equals x squared into this second equation, well, we get minus 3x plus 3x squared squared. So let's x to the fourth is equal to 0. And we can divide out by that 3. So that means minus x plus x to the fourth equals 0. Well, OK, so we could have x equal to 0. Or you can divide, and then you get x cubed equals 1. And that has solution x equals 1. So x equals 0 or 1. Those are the only solutions to this equation. And then the corresponding y values, well, we know y is equal to x squared. So this gives us critical points. When x is 0, y is 0. And when x is 1, y is 1. So this function has two critical points, 0, 0, and 1, 1. Now we need to figure out whether those critical points are minima, maxima, saddle points, some of, some of several of those. Um, so in order to do that, we're going to use this nice tool that we have, the second derivative test. So in order to apply the second derivative test, the first thing I need is the second derivatives. Um, so, so let's compute them. So the second, let's, let's do the x, x first. So we take our first partial, 3x squared minus 3y, and we take another partial of it with respect to x. So that's, in this case, that's just going to be 6x. And then we've got the, the other pure second partial, yy. So we go back over here, and we look at our, what our first partial, wy, was. And then we take another partial of this with respect to y. So that's just going to be 6y. And then we have the mixed partials, wxy and wyx, which of course are equal to each other whenever our function is nicely behaved, like a polynomial. Um, so wxy, we just take the, part, the, the two mixed partials. Um, and OK, so we take the partial of wx with respect to y, for example, and that gives us minus 3. So these are our, our three partials. And then often we, we you know, call this one a and this one c. And this one b, I guess I've kind of mixed up the order a little bit there. Um, so we look at these, these three expressions. And now we want to look at what, what sometimes people call the discriminant, although I don't know if, if Professor Aru used that term. So we want to study what the, the expression ac minus b squared is. So we want to know, is this positive, is this negative um, at the critical points? So at, at, at the critical points. Right, this is important at the critical points. So, so let's do the point uh, 1, 1 first. Say, so at 1, 1, 
We have a is equal to what we put in x is 1, y is 1 into the expression for a here. And that just gives us 6. We put x1, y1 into the expression for c. And that also gives us 6. We put x1, y1 into the expression for b. And that gives us minus 3. So a is 6, b is minus 3, c is 6. So a, c minus b squared is equal to, well, it's equal to 36 minus 9. So that's 27. And in particular, it's positive. So when this is positive, that means we either have a maximum or a minimum. So we have to, in order to figure out whether we have a maximum or a minimum, we check the sign of a. So in this case, the sign of a is positive. A is, a is a positive number. So when you have that ac minus b squared is positive and a is positive, that means you have a minimum. So the critical point 1, 1 is a, min is a local minimum for this function. All right, now we can do the same thing for, uh, for the critical point 0, 0. So recall a was 6x. So at 0, 0, a is equal to 0. b was equal to negative 3 everywhere. And c was equal to 6y. So at 0, 0, that's 6 times 0. So that's also 0. Um, so then our, our quantity that we want to look at, ac minus b squared, well, that's 0 times 0 minus 9. So that's equal to negative 9. And negative 9 is less than 0. So when, the, when ac minus b squared is less than 0, that means we have a saddle point. So in this case, the second derivative test was able successfully to distinguish what kinds of, of critical points we had. And it found that the first critical point, uh, 1, 1, was a minimum, and that the second critical point, 0, 0, was a saddle point. So just to quickly rehash what we did, we had a function back over here. We started with this function. W, we had a nice formula for it. We computed its first derivatives. We set them both equal to 0, and we solved that system of equations. So we found two solutions to that system of equations. And those two solutions are the critical points, the points where both partial derivatives are equal to 0. So when you have the two critical points, then you want to apply the second derivative test to figure out for each critical point whether it's a saddle point, a minimum, or a maximum. So we took our two critical points. Uh, let's, 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 uh, yeah. So we took our two critical points, 1, 1, and 0, 0. And at those points, we, we evaluated the, the second derivative. So a is the, is the x, x second derivative, b is the, is the mixed partial, w, x, y, and c is the y, y second derivative. So we, we evaluate those expressions at the points in question, and then we look at a, c minus b squared. And then the sign of a, c minus b squared, if it's negative, that gives us a saddle point. If it's positive, that gives us either a maximum or a minimum. And we check which one by looking at the sign of a. So here a was positive, so we got a minimum at 1, 1. So I'll stop there. <laughs>